Today, I'm excited to introduce the ACMA P1S Pro 6 Watt machine, an entry-level laser engraver. Inside the box, you'll find all the components neatly packed. However, it's important to note that the machine isn't pre-assembled, so you'll need to install it yourself. Fortunately, all the screws are packed in small bags marked with step numbers, making the assembly process much easier to follow. Upon first inspection, the manual appeared comprehensive and well-structured, creating a positive initial impression. However, upon further examination, I realised that this initial assessment was incorrect. The manual lacked the clarity necessary for smooth assembly, leading to the potential for incorrect assembly. The belt installation, in particular, presented significant challenges. Following the completion of the main frame of the belt, I proceeded to install the laser module onto the machine. Subsequently, I carefully connected the cables for both the laser module and motor, ensuring proper functionality. Despite the assembly taking more than 1.5 hours, the good news is that no further calibration was required. Let's delve into the machine for a closer look. This 6 watt machine is specifically crafted for beginners in laser engraving and cutting. I'm particularly fond of the vibrant orange colour. However, it's worth noting that this entry-level laser engraver does not come equipped with air assist. The working area measures 380 by 370 millimetres, slightly smaller than its competitors. Nevertheless, with a maximum engraving speed of 10,000 millimetres per minute, it's more than capable of handling typical engraving and cutting tasks. Perhaps most importantly, the price of the machine is surprisingly affordable, making it highly competitive in the entry-level laser engraver market. Don't forget, it's crucial to use a honeycomb workbench to protect your table. Now, let's connect the power cable and USB cable and start some interesting projects. We'll kick off our project with paper cutting, using 160 grams paper for the task. Remember to utilise the measuring aluminum column to adjust the position of the laser module accurately. However, I find it somewhat inconvenient to have to remove and replace the laser shield each time adjustments are needed. Next, open Lightburn and import the desired file. Select the object and adjust the speed to 15 mm per second at 100% power. This process typically requires approximately 4 minutes to reach completion. resulting in edges that are not only satisfyingly smooth, but also remarkably accurate. Now let's experiment with another image. The duration for this particular task extends to around 10 minutes. Even with the extended duration, the outcomes continue to impress consistently, effectively highlighting the machine's adept capabilities. Next, we experimented with engraving on various materials, starting with a metal card. For this trial, I adjusted the speed to 35 mm per second, set the power to 100%, with an interval of 0.1 mm. The whole process took about six minutes. The result was really great. The cards looked super stylish. The pictures were so clear with neat lines and shapes. I was really impressed and ended up trying more designs.
Check out these insect cards. They're really cool. Plus, you can make your own collection with different colors for even more options. Now, let's experiment with engraving an image on slate. I adjusted the speed to 40 millimeters per second and set the power to 100% with an interval of 0.05 millimeter. I always find it gratifying to observe the engraving process unfold. However, while the result is intriguing, the image isn't as clear as I had anticipated. Moving on, we opted for something unique. Placing a scratch paper, we endeavoured to engrave an image on it. Employing a speed of 430 millimetres per second and 50% power, it took 12 minutes to complete. The scratch card yielded a vibrant and colourful effect, resulting in a truly stunning outcome. After that, we attempted to engrave an image on plywood. I adjusted the speed to 130 millimeters per second and set the power to 80% with an interval of 0.07 millimeters. Now, you can have a tailor-made keychain. Finally, we attempted to make a coaster using 3mm plywood. I adjusted the speed to 3mm per second and set the power to 100%. Since there is no air assist, you may notice a burn mark on the edge of the plywood, but it's still acceptable. Let's proceed with the rest of the coaster. The smaller the pattern, the more burn marks you will encounter. Therefore, I decided to spray colour to enhance its appearance. Here is the result, and it's now brimming with energy. Here are the products I've created, and you too can explore various creations using your creativity. Now, let's discuss the pros and cons of this machine. On the positive side, this machine doesn't come in a dull colour. Its metallic orange hue empowers users with creative inspiration. Secondly, the price of this machine is very affordable compared to its competitors. Thirdly, I haven't encountered any abnormalities during testing, and it consistently delivers amazing results in both cutting and engraving. However, there are still some areas for improvement. Firstly, the installation guide wasn't very clear to me, resulting in spending more than 1.5 hours to complete setup. Secondly, like most entry-level machines, this one lacks air assist, which can lead to burn marks during cutting. Lastly, after adjusting the focus, the laser module ends up being too close to the engraving object, making it inconvenient to secure the object to the honeycomb workbench. In conclusion, 
The ACMA P1 S Pro 6W machine is a very capable entry-level laser machine. 